Hello guys, I am back again, still updating you with the breaking trending news, what is going on in Nigeria. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your location at this time of the day. Okay guys, um, I don't know where to start, but let me begin from somewhere. As we already know, a few days ago, I updated you guys um, the threat from Ohana Zendibo after Atiku Abubakar emerges the flag bearer of PDP. All right, uh, that they may be forced to boycott 2023 general election, and no northerner will be allowed to campaign in southeast. Remember, uh, Mohane Zendibo had also uh, threatened to boycott the election if the two major political parties, that is APC and PDP, failed to give their ticket uh, to southeast. You know, people were. People was of opinion that an Igbo man should be made a president come 2023 for equity and fairness. Though it is not constitutional, all right, but for equity and fairness and the marginalization that Igbo man should be made a president come 2023. Even that same article Abubakar that emerges the flag bearer back in 2010, he was the same person, the same person that uh, was of opinion that an Igbo man, Southeast, should be made president in 2023. That is the same person that got a ticket. That is the same person that spent about 20, 35 US dollars for delegate just for him to be the flag bearer of PDP. Yes. Last year, when I uh, talk about this uh, politics, I told you guys uh, forget about the opinion of some northern elites that an Igbo man should be made a president, that when the right time comes, when the right time comes, these people from the North, they know how to play politics a lot. And that is the same thing that is being displayed. Imagine in 2019, 2000, was it 19 or 2015, Wike was campaigning, Wike was supporting Tambuwa, in 2000, that, uh, is it 2019 or 2015? Uh, Wike was supporting Tambuwa. But that is the same Tambuwa that stepped down for Atiku Abubakar just to support his own northern person. Have you now seen how politics, these people play their own politics? And imagine even in Southeast, they failed to support their own brothers. The likes of Oju Zokalu, the likes of Imo State Governor, uh, Hopu Zodima, supporting Ahmed Lawan from Northeast. But they failed to support their own brothers. Payos Ayim Payos was there. Peter Obi is there, though he had defected to Labour Party. For you to see how it is. And tomorrow, those are the same uh, Southern governors that will complain. Uh, the North is the one that wants to, you know, they are power drunk. They want to remain in power for the rest of their life. But those are the same northern governors that are not supporting their brothers. Yes. Can you now see how it is? So these people, for them, they know how to play the politics. All right, um, let me not uh, waste much of your time. So the Northern Youth Council of Nigeria have also threatened to stop the campaign of any Igbo presidential candidate in the North ahead of the 2023 general ele election. So the group claimed a prominent Igbo group made such similar threat, according to them, when the Ohanese made the threat that they would not allow any Northern presidential candidate to campaign in Southeast. That is the same thing they are doing, all right? That no Igbo person will be allowed to do any campaign in the North. Okay, guys, let me know what you guys think because it's also pathetic that people from the South, they are not even supporting themselves. But these are the same people, the governors in the South, these are the same people that will be shouting that uh, the North wants to hold on to. Why wouldn't they not hold on to power when they know how to play politics more than them? Yes, when they know. Now, don't be surprised. Even if, even if they're not, even if it's another political party, they not don't mind to vote their own people, irrespective of political party, whether APC or PDP. Don't be surprised that even APC or Buhari himself may be supporting Atiku Abubakar. Don't be surprised because he's a Fulani man. Don't be surprised. Okay, guys, let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.